what we're going to be doing today is looking at how we can make uh, custom light functions and we're going to try and make a light flicker. Now I've got this um, light which is from the low poly kit that was free on Epic Store. But any light will do, it's nothing special about that one, it's just a light and it's just got a grey material on it. So what we're going to do next is create an actor blueprint class out of this and I'm going to call it street light underscore bp and open it up and drag and drop the light in there so once we've got the light in there um we also need to create ourselves a in fact before we do that let's go ahead and add some actual lights to it so we're going to add two lights to this we're going to add a spotlight and this spotlight is going to act as the light that shines down from the light source. I'm just going to place this um, and I'm also going to drop one in the scene so we get an idea about how it's lit up. So this is just a dark lower light level that I've got going on so I can sort of see how it affects. Um, Maybe pump up the intensity on that. Maybe it's sort of happy with that distance. There we go, we'll add that. That'll do. So now we've got the live function um, and it's looking good. Problem with it though is it doesn't actually seem to illuminate there. We can kind of see because I've added a whole bunch of fog to this level, so we should hopefully I'll see the light a little bit too. Um, that's why we're also going to add a point light and this point light if I'd had spot selected it was done it from the same spot but it's fine with this light we just want to make sure it illuminates this area here so I'm going to grab it pump up that intensity a whole bunch Make the radius smaller. What do you think? 80. Should sort of do it. Are we going too high on that? Maybe let's give it a bit of a yellow hue too. Because these are electric lights. So I'm giving both a bit of a, a hue. Alright, so that's the setup. There's nothing. So special about that, you guys will be more than capable of doing so that. But now is the fun part, creating the actual material function. So we're going to right click in some space and create a new material, which we're going to call flicker underscore LF for live function. And open this up and obviously this is just a standard material until we go into our material domain and change it to a light function. Now, we've only got this emissive, and what this emissive is looking for is, basically it's looking for just a number between zero and one. So we're gonna create ourselves this little function. And we're gonna start with time, but because time is ever scaling up, if we plug that in, eventually that would just be a huge bright light. So we're going to, well, what I'm gonna use is a tangent, and this is going to sort of shoot up to one, and just pop straight back down to zero. So it's just gonna keep going from up to one all the time. And now, now we've got this, and we're not gonna be done there, but it's nice to always see it in preview. So I'm going to attach it, save it, and attach it to my street lamps. And we can already sort of see it doing its thing. So inside, um, inside our property with the light selected we want to go down to light function and select flicker and we're going to do this on both and now we can already sort of see it working as well here which is quite nice but it's a bit much it's a bit too much flicker so it's a uh, play with this a little bit more and 
I only want it to flicker every now and then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a separate function of what I just want it to look like in in sort of standard in standardness. So I'm going to get a time. I'm going to do a sign, and this is going to go sort of smooth up and down between zero and one. But I'm going to clamp it because I don't ever want it to go to zero because zero means black. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to go like, I don't know, 0 0.6. Let's just go 0 0.6. And what we'll see from this is um, a much sort of smoother, sort of smoother glow between them. But you can sort of see it sort of going up and down. And that's a bit fast. So if I click on sign, what I can actually do is make that happen slower so I'm just going to size up by three and now it's going to be much sort of smoother between them instead of it happening quite fast but to make this more fun we're going to use an if statement and what we're going to say essentially is we want it to either do a fast flicker or we're going to want it to do a nice smooth um, normal light and what we'll do is we'll base this again on time because times a, a good value and we're going to put a period on this and let's say eight seconds so what this does is time goes up to eight seconds and it restarts and we're going to plug this into a and we're going to set our constant b value to i don't know should we say six so that way this does two loops and then the value becomes a becomes greater than b and then we switch to this flicker so if we stick you in there Oops. Stick you in there and press save. We can see we've got a smooth and then it's going to go to a much harsher flash. Cool. Now, if you wanted, maybe, you know what, I'm going to set the constant to seven just to show you how you can mess with this a little bit more. Um, and instead I'm going to multiply this by 2. So we're going to multiply time by 2. So this should make the flicker happen faster. Um, but it's also not going to happen for as long. Okay, so let's find a light. Probably got too much fog, so you can see it's leaving that behind. But we can see the flicker just happens once now, and it's quite dramatic, quite nice. So that's cool. But and that's sort of you know just the loose sort of setting up of a function. But what if, for example, we wanted to do a little bit more with this? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this function, and we're going to call it smooth. LF. Now on the smooth LF, we're just going to keep this part and the rest of this we're going to get rid of. See that nice clean up button? I almost never use that, I always forget it exists. So this function is just going to be a smooth operator. And this one is going to be our flicker. That is quite dramatic and probably going to cause some kind of seizures or something so we need to be careful with that. So let's get both of them and put our smooth functions on by default. Now to make this even more fun Let's add a box collision. That should do it. And on our box collision, let's add a begin overlap and say if we cast to just using the template, so it's a third person character. 
let's just make sure it works by saying print string. And in here, we want to um, set the light function material. And we're going to set this to flicker. We want to do this for both the spot and our point. And while we're doing this, let's do an end overlap and basically just repeat all of this. I'm going to hit Control W to duplicate. And let's change this back to smooth. And let's give this a, a whirl, see how it looks. Okay, so we, we've got a smooth light on. Then we go into it and we start flickering and stuff scary. Then we run away. Go in, flicker. It's actually too much. I'd, I'm just going to end that a lot soon. So after we've done all this, I'm just going to do a quick delay. Oops. Hold D, left click, delay. And we're just going to plug you in there. I actually don't like it flicking that much. We're just going to do no more than two seconds. And let's try that again. Alt P to start. The fog and the light is pretty crazy. Um, we'll go to it. We've got a nice light function on. We're standing there. There's two seconds with, which is still too much. We can run away and we'll start again. Isn't that awesome? So there you go guys, they're setting up light functions in different ways. I hope you found that useful and helpful. If so, um, just drop a like on the video, that'd be cool. Thanks.